Hi, I'm Peter Kulitz, and I'm happy to share our work in geological hyperspectral imaging. We present GYPSUM, a generalized unsupervised clustering pipeline for hyperspectral images of geological targets in the near infrared. Unlike in a three channel RGB image, imaging spectroscopy, which is also known as hyperspectral imaging, typically measures radiance values for hundreds of narrow wavelength bands. Material composition and physical properties determine light absorption and scattering behavior, making the identification of materials possible through hyperspectral images. Rocks are not always composed of a single material, and they are sometimes inaccessible for analysis by laboratory equipment. This makes generating complete training datasets for supervised classification impossible. Typical methods require large amounts of labeled data for supervised learning, or require semi-manual classification guided by experts which is time-consuming and requires a priori information. In our work, we develop a fully unsupervised workflow for feature extraction and clustering, informed by both expert spectral geologist input and quantitative supervised and unsupervised metrics. To ensure good performance on a per-image basis, we develop a method that is only dependent on a single input image. Gypsum takes a single hyperspectral image cube as input and produces a single per pixel clustering map that is only dependent on the input image. We demonstrate our method on high SNR high spatial resolution laboratory data and low SNR low spatial resolution remote sensing data. Gypsum consists of three phases, pre-processing, feature extraction, and clustering. Our pre-processing method is informed by geological spectroscopy pre-processing tools typically used by experts. In our feature extraction phase, we train an autoencoder with a latent embedding size of the signal subspace dimension, as estimated by HiSIME. Instead of the typical mean squared error reconstruction loss, we use the spectral angle between the input and reconstruction. Using spectral angle allows for invariance to relative magnitude, which results in decreased sensitivity to network initialization, and in increases the cost in small-scale variation, which helps to capture small features in the spectra. Learning a per-pixel embedding for each image allows for robustness to various mineral abundance distributions and varying systematic instrumental and environmental noise. We used learn embedding to cluster using a Gaussian mixture model and optionally combine clusters with the smallest spectral angle between their mean pixels. The complete details of our methods are in our paper. We evaluate our pipeline on the Oman Ophiolite, which is a sample from the Earth's core. We have access to expert labels for some of the images in this data set. Our method captures the predominant mineralogical features, as shown here in panel C. Unlike the field standard of PCA k-means, our method successfully separates a prehnite epidote mixture at arrow 1. Both methods struggle to distinctly map amphibole, the small turquoise on the expertly labeled image at arrow 2. Our pipeline also outperforms PCA k-means for both pre-processing setups in F1, normalized mutual information, and adjusted RAND index. Full evaluation details and additional method comparison on the remote sensing data are available in our paper. Gypsum provides an effective initial clustering for guiding in-depth work, and it provides flexibility for semi-supervised learning by separating the feature extraction and clustering processes. The primary shortcoming is non-identification of spectrally distinct but spatially rare mineral classes that can be geologically significant. Gypsum enables rapid determination of distinct mineral classes across multiple imaging systems and noise profiles, demonstrating that the technique is highly generalizable.